Mr. Speaker, I see hate. Mr. Speaker, I see bitterness. Mr. Speaker, I see acrimony. Mr. Speaker, I see animosity. And Mr. Speaker, I see a man completely out of control. Completely out of control, Mr. Speaker. That is what I see. And that problem is not a new problem to me, you know. I was aware of the tendency for the Honourable Member to go out of control since 1987. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003 as a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PNM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Udicott. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is ten times worse than what happened with Piaco Airport. And it's even more brazen. UNC candidate for St. Joseph Herbert Volney has described the move by the Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation to deny them access to use the George Hill Park in St. Joseph on Tuesday night as signs of dictatorship. Earlier Wednesday afternoon, officers from the corporation welded steel bars to all eight entrances of the park. But Volney says the park is for the citizens of this country. Our public park. Bolted down from we the people. I say to you who are here that this is no longer the sign of a creeping dictatorship. The former justice warned that he would remove the bars himself. Tear down this fence because if you don't, Herbert Volney as your member of parliament surely will. Mr. Volney is also warning that once the partnership is in government, members of the corporation may have to seek new employment. Those who control the Piaco Tunapuna Regional Corporation, who remain four years over their time and who are squatting on the seat in that corporation, they must go. The party continued its meeting in the streets opposite the park. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges. Do your case. Everybody has a chance to do it. But not like my good friend. The minute you oppose my good friend, Mr. Speaker, the minute you oppose my good friend, he gets very, very angry. And if you oppose him strongly, Mr. Speaker, he becomes a raging bull. And that is what this government is not prepared to act. That is what it was. We just were not prepared to accept that. This country cannot call to order its prime minister and his cabinet and his political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us.